Hey everyone, here's a recap of the Midjourney office hours from July 10th. They're currently training version 6.5, and some things are better, some things are worse. When they release it, they might call it an alpha test and then collect data for a bit to tune it better. David said they're experimenting with different ways of exploring demographics. Right now they're debating about the controls and how we will actually go about prompting for the different aesthetics. He also said they're going to start synchronizing some of the Discord rooms with the website rooms. And I was wondering, why do you think people are hesitant to use the social rooms on the Midjourney website? I know a lot of you don't really care about social stuff, but I feel like it comes down to intention. On Discord, it's chat first and then other services like Midjourney. Whereas if you went to the Midjourney website, you would be going there specifically to use the service and then chatting and conversations, all that kind of stuff would definitely be a second priority. Let me know what you think. David also talked about the next version of personalization. He got to try it out and he feels his personal code is better, but it's obviously hard to say how it will work for everyone else. He mentioned a new personalization test that will be more fun, quicker, and accurate. He said they're trying to update it so that when you rank images, your code will change in real time so that you can access different versions of your style. In other news, apparently they're running behind on style exploration tools. He said the people that were working on it are less interested in that feature and they'll have to find somebody else to carry it out. I thought that was a weird thing to say but I guess it's honest. David said that he himself has some ideas on how to create a simple style exploration tool but he had hoped for a more complicated and expansive process, admitting he might have to settle for the simple version. David said that version 7 is chugging along, they have not tried the final training run yet, and it is about a month or two away. He also said that they're trying to figure out some sort of special magazine deal for the pro and mega users. I'm just thinking out loud maybe it will be included in the subscription, I think that's what he alluded to, but he also mentioned some other experimental billing features and I don't know what that could mean. He mentioned there's some internal debate about relax mode recently. He threw out the idea of giving priority to people who don't use it as much, and maybe even implement a super relax mode, which would be a longer time to wait, but more images to make. He talked a little bit about how they found some cool data that could allow them to create a way of inputting your drawings into Midjourney. And you might find this interesting, he admitted that he's been tempted to do a depth control map feature as a way to guide your images. I think that could be a lot of fun. Lastly, he talked a little bit about 3D and how it's making progress and how he is optimistic. Even though it will still take some time, he said he was looking at some 3D stuff in virtual reality and said it looked pretty cool. If you like the art in this video, here is the prompt. It's a minimal illustration graphic, beautiful cybernetic robo, your subject. Rorschach test, pattern synthetic armor. I use stylized 60, 100, and 250, as well as Chaos 3, and some of these were made with my personal style code. Special thanks to Antixian, I found this prompt over on the Midjourney website. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. If you want a better look at some of my pictures, you can follow me over on Instagram. And if you want to check out some prompts I post occasionally, you can follow me over on Twitter, at Future Tech Pilot. There's your recap of the Midjourney office hours. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time.